striking clinic right now from Oscar. Oh my goodness, what a kick. kick! That was awesome. Ball is in the air and the fists are flying as phase three of the LFA restart begins this Friday, October 2nd from Wichita, Kansas and live on UFC Fight Pass. Welcome inside LFA, I'm Ron Kruk. The main event for LFA 92 is a key matchup in the Bantamweight division between two top contenders as 10 and one, Oscar, Oscar returns to the octagon to face eight and one, Kevin Worth. Known as Mr. Nice Guy, the three-time LFA veteran Kevin Worth has been just the opposite of that to his opponents, especially Isaiah Gutierrez, who he finished with a spectacular super kick in his LFA debut. More recently, Worth used his high precision karate-based striking to outpoint Boss Rutten trained Ryan Lilly at LFA 74 back in August of last year. His opponent, Oscar Oscar, is originally from Palestine, but now trains out of Chicago, Illinois. The 26-year-old collected 10 wins in his first 10 professional bouts, including a unanimous decision victory over Derek Mandel in his promotional debut at LFA 50. The well-rounded Oscar has three wins via KO and three by submission. The winner could emerge as the next challenger to face current LFA Bantamweight champion, Zaviad Lazishvili. The rest of the LFA 92 card is loaded and includes two pivotal matchups in the lightweight division, as Muay Thai champion Brian Del Rosario locks horns with fellow prospect Dakota Bush. Plus, Uriah Favor Train and former K1 champion Slava Borshev makes his LFA debut against another promotional newcomer in Ali Zebiak. A unique scoring process is being incorporated by the progressive Kansas Athletic Commission at LFA 92. The commission will use a real-time scoring system, which means a commissioner will show coaches in each corner how the judges scored the round so they know exactly who is winning the fight on the scorecards. After viewing the score via an iPad, the coaches can then choose to either disclose the score to their fighter or not. Adam Rohrbach is the executive director of the Kansas Athletic Commission, and he explained the benefits of using a real-time scoring system. In a promotion like LFA, you know, a fighter, if they know that they need that finish in the third round, could mean the difference between a UFC contract or not, or a Bellator contract or not. And as a commission, why shouldn't I tell them that score if it's going to help how they continue in the fight? And I just think they have a right to know the score. And you know, they might not agree with the score, and that's a whole other conversation. This isn't to fix bad judging. Judging is what it is. This is so at least... And this is a bad sentence to say, but I say it all the time. If it's a bad score, we're at least letting you know what the bad score is so you can make that determination of how you need to make an adjustment moving forward. Following LFA 92 Friday is another UFC Fight Night event on Saturday. Going down on Fight Island in Abu Dhabi and several more LFA alumni will be in action, including Kyler Phillips, past two division champion Casey Kenny and former Legacy FC Bantamweight champion, Holly Holm. The Jackson Wink MMA Academy product and former UFC title holder captured the Legacy FC strap back in 2014 when she took out Juliana Werner via head kick and punches in the fifth round of their championship bout. Of course, Holm would continue to have success with her vicious head kicks in the UFC including her unforgettable KO of then champion Ronda Rousey. Number two ranked home will face another formidable striker in number six, Irania Aldana from Mexico. So who will be next? See tomorrow's UFC stars today in the LFA and exclusively on UFC Fight Pass. And for the latest promotional news, interviews, and fight announcements, be sure to follow the LFA on social media at LFA Fighting.